so often we can live out of quite a negative voice and actually I think this is common to most people and not just people who struggle with depression it's that voice in our head sort of saying come on do better pull yourself together or if we you know if we feel we're not performing well enough it's not a voice of love and gentleness we normally hear but a voice of Hannah what the hell are you doing come on stop being an idiot um you should be doing better than this, you should know better than this, this isn't good enough, try harder. And actually, it's not really helpful, and I definitely have learned to have less of that voice from becoming aware of it in counselling and learning how it's not helpful, and also through mindfulness um, and the idea of being gentle with myself, which has been key to really creating a nicer internal dialogue. And I think um, part of this also has been learning to listen to what I want and what I need. I think so often we're taught that selfishness is bad and thinking about ourselves is bad and that we should spend all our time thinking about other people. But I guess a bit like when you're on an aeroplane, they say, if you're with a child, make sure you put on your own um, oxygen mask if you need to before you put on your babies and then once you've got on your own oxygen mask you'll be in a position to look after your children better. I think it's the same for life. Um, if we're running on empty we can't really actually help fill up other people's tanks. So it's become really important for me to listen to what I need and to understand that I need to learn to meet those needs for myself. Um, and of course it's wonderful and great if my husband comes home with flowers or a friend says let's go for a cocktail on just the right day but that doesn't always happen and, and yes I do long for more authentic community and love love it when I see it but actually I'm learning to become more self-responsible and able to recognize and meet my own needs so for me that's been quite a journey um, post counseling as well so because counselling can be quite challenging and painful, whereas before, maybe afterwards, I'd feel guilty and ashamed of myself and have that crit critical voice in my head just saying, you know, what are you doing? You're wasting this time, you're still crying. And then perhaps feeling total despair and going to bed and then that critical voice of, you're so useless. You know, now I've got more of a nurturing, loving voice and my dialogue goes more like this. Oh, well... <laughs> My psychiatrist says this doesn't mean I'm schizophrenic. He's quite pleased with me about this development. Um, oh, well done, sweet Hannah. You've done so well. You've been really brave. That took a lot of courage to have those conversations. That took a lot of courage to admit those things. Um, what do you want to do today? What do you want to do now? Let's have a little treat. Let's look after you. And for me, that's been anything from having a gingerbread man, gluten-free, same squeeze, do really good ones, um, to going for a manicure, to going for a walk around the park, to allowing myself a 20 minute nap, to coming home and having a cup of coffee and a read, to going to my favourite coffee shop for a coffee and their best gluten dairy free cake. Um, but really, instead of that punishing voice, which I really, I don't think is uh, definitely not um, only me that struggles with it, but also not, not just a symptom of depression, but I think a symptom of our culture. Um, actually, just to learn to really love and nurture ourselves. And actually, I found through this process, it's a lot easier as well to have that grace with others, because really, when we have such high expectations of ourselves, when other people fall short of them, we feel really in our minds, or I do, as angry and bitter about um, how they've let me down as I do when I let myself down and actually learning to have this internal dialogue of grace with myself has also enabled me to, to feel a lot more gracious um, with others and to really have that external dialogue of grace in an authentic way rather than just a I don't feel this but this is how I'm going to sleep.